Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this one I'm gonna show you how you can animate an exploded view like this. I really gonna focus on the mechanical parts. I won't cover the measurement lines as I already made a complete tutorial series about that. So if you are interested, just check the link in the description. This is the model I used for that, uh, so you can find that on GrabCAD for free. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for that as well. Alright, so once you downloaded the zip, we're gonna use the step file that's inside and we're gonna unzip that and then drag it inside of Cinema. So I'm gonna delete one of them and I'm gonna just keep this one. In the main body here, we have this little ball here. I'm gonna delete this one and we're gonna have a little spring here that I'm gonna delete as well. So to do this kind of animation, we have different methods available in cinema. So the easiest one would be to select that. Using Alt, I could drop that inside a fracture object. Selecting the fracture, I could use a push apart effector and I want the fracture to be in explode segment and connect mode here. So let's select the push apart and set the radius to 10 and reduce the strength. So as you can see here, I can just explode the object like so. We could also add a linear field here with a length of one centimeter and simply animate that. Select the fracture now and add a delay and set the delay to 80. So this is a very straightforward and basic way of doing that, but we don't have much control over the position. So let's deactivate the delay here uh, and select the push apart. We can select the mode here, maybe select the along X, which spreads the parts on the X axis. Same for Y and Z, but this is pretty limited. So let's delete everything and just keep the model here. So what I would recommend for more control is simply with Alt, I'm going to drop that inside a fracture object again. And what we're going to do is this one is going to be fracture start. And I'm going to control drag this and this is going to be fracture end. Let's hide the fracture start. So the idea here is using the fracture start as a starting position and fracture end would be the end position deactivate the fracture for the end and let's place the objects i just quickly move that around just to show you what i mean okay so i reactivate the fracture end show the start here and hide fracture end Selecting Fracture Start, this time I'm going to use the Inheritance Effector. In the object here, we're going to add Fracture End, and we're going to check Morph Motion Object. We're going to need to select both fractures here, and in the Object tag, we want this to be on Explode Segments. All right, and we're going to add a linear field inside of the Inheritance. Set this to 1 cm. So I go on frame zero, I'm going to add a keyframe and on frame 50, I'm going to add a second keyframe here. And on the fracture start, I'm going to add a delay effector with a value of 80 again. So this is better. We have more control over the position, but we don't have so much control over the timing. For example, maybe you want the screws to move first and the rest moving apart once the screws are removed. So to do that, we're going to need to make groups. I'm going to delete the end here. I'm just going to quickly select the screws like so. And then I'm going to hit Alt G, Control X, Control V. So here we have our new group. And this is going to be the screws. I'm going to just select that and add G. And this is going to be break full. So I just added that to hide stuff quickly. And I'm going to select the main body here. So I just hit Control X, Control V to find this quickly here in the first position. Next, here we have more screws that I forgot. So 
same thing control x control v so here they are add them to the screws and then i just gonna make another group with those parts alt g to make a new group control x control v here is the new group i'm gonna call this one handle and uh, this one control x control v so here it is i'm just gonna add this inside the main body here we have all the middle parts so if i go to the rectangle selection and select everything here i'm gonna select a bunch of nulls here that's not what we want so just to make things easier i just go to filter i'm gonna hide the nulls and when i select here i just got the meshes i'm gonna hit alt g Control x Control v and this is gonna be the inside group okay and so here we have only the nulls we can delete that let's unhide everything here and start with the screws okay so i'm gonna use that as fracture screws start so for now i'm just gonna delete the inheritance tag here and gonna move this inside the screw null here and select all the objects and move them inside the fracture i know every screws here is just moving up or down except for this one just let's deactivate the fracture here so this one its pivot is over there so i could simply move that like so but if i want to be more precise i would like that to be aligned on this face here so what i can do here is selecting that and going to tools axis axis center i'm gonna go to the selected polygons here and activate the alignment i want to be in polygon mode here and i would like to select all of those here i just hit execute so this way when we move the screw here we are going to move it along its length here so let's control drag the screws start call this screws end don't forget to select that and in the effect rows we want to remove the delay uh, and we want to hide the break and only show the screws end okay so with the fracture disabled we want to move those in their final position okay so let's hide the fracture end activate those and move the inheritance tag here and for the inheritance object we want the screws end let's and hide that uh, let's select the screws start again and we need the inheritance to be before the delay let's see where the linear field is and normally it should still be animated maybe we can just change the animation of the linear field and after a while having this moving back and maybe we want this to be really small so point 0.1 maybe all right so next we are gonna do the same for the other parts so i won't do that for the main body as it's the center part so this won't move and the delay i'm gonna use the same delay for everyone so for the inside parts now i'm just gonna select the inheritance and the fracture and i'm gonna control drag this i'm gonna open the fracture and delete everything and move the meshes for the inside parts inside the fracture let's rename that so this is inheritance screws this is inheritance inside so for the inheritance here i'm just gonna clear the object here let's hide everything and here just show the inside parts i deactivate the fracture let's see how this looks so everything is okay except for this screw that's inside which is oriented like this and this has the same pivot so we're gonna just fix that the same way as we did before so let's select this one go to the faces uh, this time i'm gonna use un for the phone break selection i'm gonna set this to one degree so this way we're gonna select all those faces here then going to tools axis axis center so we already have everything we need here selected polygons and alignment to the normals execute and here we have the axis like that now 
So let's hide this. And for this one, we're going to do the same. So the axis is over there. Go to the faces, UN, select these faces and then execute. Go back to the object mode here and the axis is like so. Here, the axes are not 100% correct, but this will do. So let's call this one fracture inside dot and control drag that. And this is going to be fracture inside end. Let's hide the fracture start. Okay. So I just forgot to unhide this hose boot. Okay. So before I move anything, I'm going to just select this one and delete the inheritance and delay effectors. And I'm going to move those in place. So this, I want to move that like so. All right. So here for the inheritance inside, I need to add the proper object here, which is the fracture end. And in the fracture start, I just make sure that the inheritance here is the inheritance inside and I delete the inheritance screw. Let's activate the fractures here and let's see. Yeah, if I show everything here and I want the end here to be hidden. Let's see. All right. Working great. So for the handle, I'm going to do the same quickly and I'm going to just control drag the inheritance and the fracture. Call this one handle, this one handle start. Delete the meshes and replace with those ones. Let's hide this one. So I'm going to select the fracture, replace the inheritance inside by inheritance handle I just made, deactivate the fracture handle. And on this one, I just want to realign those pivots. Uh, I'm going to go to the faces, UN, and I'm going to select these faces, execute here. So back to the model, I'm aligning the pivot properly here. And I'm going to do the same for this one. NG, switch to wireframe mode. So UN, and I'm going to go to the faces now and select these faces, execute. I now have proper orientation for the axis. So I just corrected the axis for those two pieces and control drag this. This is going to be handle end. I'm just moving the end position for those like so. Activate the fractures again. This one is disabled. I delete the effectors for this one. I just want to select the inheritance and as the object, I just going to select the handle end and show everything back. So maybe here you want to just change the end position. So you can just hide this, show the end fractures here. So this is the end position. Deactivate them. So you can adjust the position here. Maybe I find this one to be too high. The handle here is moving too far away. So maybe I want this over here. And so here you can adjust the positions of everything. So let's say we are happy with that. So let's activate the fracture ends again and hide them. And unhide everything. So let's, let's hit play. Okay. So this is the animation and the ID here. We made different groups because we want to be able to have different timings. So let's add maybe a few more frames. So this way now we can have the screws happening first. Then maybe the inside parts. And lastly, we want the handle like so. So this gives us a little more control over the timing of the animation. All right, so this is it for this setup. I hope you found this useful. If you have any question, just hit me in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.